Hey everyone, welcome to episode 1 of our HTML and CSS series. In just 10 minutes, you're gonna build your very first web page using HTML, even if you're never coded in your life. So let's get started. First things first, open your code editor. I'm using VS Code here, you can use whatever you want. If you don't want to bother installing VS Code, which by the way, we already have a dedicated video on this channel for that. Link will be in the video description if you want to check that out. You can also use our Codein compiler, which also supports uh, HTML, CSS, and JS. We also have a new feature called Codein Labs where you can just upload your projects in our website. So if you want to check that out, link will also be in the video description. So very first thing you want to do is make a file. To do that, come here and click on this new file button and name it index.html, which basically means home page of our HTML. So first thing I want you to do is type starting ankle bracket and type doc type HTML. So this line right here is basically a tag. What it does is basically tells our HTML web page that we are using HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML. Okay, so now we'll make our most important tag, which is HTML. Okay, so you need a starting HTML tag right here and closing HTML tags. A tag is basically an element that is enclosed in ankle brackets. Okay, like these ones right here. This is an opening HTML tag and this is a closing HTML tag. How do we know it? Closing HTML tags usually have forward slash before its name. So basically this is an HTML tag and forward slash HTML tag is the closing HTML tag. So inside this HTML tag, we'll write our head tag like this. So head tag is basically a tag that works behind the scenes. You don't normally see it inside your HTML or the main web page of your HTML website, but it does a lot of things behind the scenes, okay? For example, what we can do is inside head tag, we can give a title tag. What it does, basically, let's give a title named HTML tutorial. If I do this and go live right here, as you can see, the head or the title of our HTML website becomes HTML tutorial because I give HTML tutorial inside this title tag. So that's the title tag. So let's make it more easier. I'll just make it like this. Now, what we can do is HTML tag basically has two main parts. One is the head tag like this, and another is the body tag. So notice we're coming outside the head tag. We'll give a body tag. So body tag means the elements that are visible on the website. Let's say I write hello here. You can see hello coming or popping up in our HTML website. So this right here is what we called boilerplate code. So what is a boilerplate code? Boilerplate code is basically the code that you have to write, usually writing your HTML or any programming language code, right? When you start off writing HTML, you have to write this much to get started with your HTML website. That is called boilerplate code, okay? So inside this body tag, what we'll do is give a tag named h1. So h in h1 stands for heading, right? If I write inside these h1 tag, again, this is the opening h1 tag, and this is the closing h1 tag, right? Inside this h1 tag right here, I will give a value or a content specifically that we like to say, saying hello world. So if I do that, if I give hello world and save this, as you can see, hello world pops up in the HTML website. So edge in h1 means heading, right? And h1 is the biggest size heading. That's why it's called h1. If I try to give h2, if I try to give h2 here, what I'll do is basically saying, let's say hello world again. As you can see, it is smaller compared to h1. 
This goes all the way to at six. If I just copy this and paste it here six times and change the value saying h3, okay, h4, h5, and h6. The text right here, the hello world, the content hello world, we get smaller and smaller. If I save this, as you can see, there are different sized hello world because you're using different heading tags. Now that we have talked about heading tags, I will cut all of these and keep one and that says about me because we'll build a kind of a basic about me page, okay? So the next tag that we will learn is the paragraph tag. Let's say in your HTML website, you want to write a paragraph. There is a dedicated paragraph tag that is the P tag, which again has opening and closing brackets. As you can see, H1 also has opening and closing. Title also has opening and closing. Head also has op opening and closing. Same goes to body and HTML. There are a few exceptions in HTML tag that do not need closing tags. For example, doc type HTML doesn't need a closing tag, okay? So in paragraph tag, you can type some paragraph, okay? I can type, I love coding and I love web development. This is a wonderful, wonderful experience, okay? So inside the paragraph tag, you type a paragraph. As you can see, it pops up in our HTML website because again, we are putting it in the body tag. So this is paragraph tag, okay? Now till here, we have talked about two things specifically, right? One is HTML tag and one is how to make your own tags and show them in your HTML website. Now. The thing is, when you write a tag and some content inside it and also give a closing tag, this entire thing right here is what we call an HTML element. So if I say an element or HTML element in upcoming videos or in the future, just know that I'm talking about the whole thing, okay? Now, the next thing I wanna talk about is the HTML structure and how browser actually puts our HTML tags in our HTML website. Next thing I'm going to talk about is the HTML tree structure. So think of HTML as a, like a family tree, right? Or a folder inside folder. At the top, we have HTML, which is again, I said, most important tag in our HTML website because it basically is the parent of all of our HTML tags. So here, HTML tag basically branches out into two main tags, which is head and the body, like in our HTML code. And head also branches out into another tag, which is the title tag, which is inside the head tag. Again, and head tag is inside the HTML tag, right? Here we have the body tag, which is again, one of the two main branches of HTML tag. Here, body tag has branched into two tags, which is h1 and paragraph tag that we use in our HTML code. This can be a lot of HTML tags. After the HTML tag, it basically just normally branches out into two main tags, which again is head and body. But head and body can branch out into different or multiple HTML tags, depending upon actual website. And that's it. You just built your very first web page using HTML. We have covered structures, wrote some real code, and also visualized how it all connects like a tree. In the next episode, we are gonna add images and links, and your page will finally start to feel like a real website. If this video helped, go ahead and leave a like, and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And hey, drop a comment if you coded alongside with me or got stuck, I'm here for you. See you again in the next one. Bye-bye.